Hello there, I hope you are doing well. Here's a quick guide on how to complete the Sepulchre Lost sector solo and flawless on Legendary difficulty. Timestamps are in the description below. This sector can be found in the Throne World, spawn in the Quagmire and drive to the middle of the map. There is a road there that leads east through the city into the Fluorescent Canal. As you enter the new area, look to the left for a series of columns. Underneath them will be the entrance. Remember, if there isn't a flag outside the sector, you will first need to complete it normally in order to unlock the higher difficulties. This sector contains barriers and unstoppables. The threat is solar and there are only a couple of Ark and Solar shields in total. During the recording of this video, the surge was Ark and Strand. That might be different for you. The surges are on a weekly rotation, so always double check what the surges are and match a subclass or weapons to the same element to deal extra damage. Moving on to loadouts. For this, I'm using my Warlock Dawnblade combined with some braces for spamming solar grenades. For weapons, I ran an Arbalest for stunning barriers along with a hand cannon for stunning unstoppables. Finally, I had a machine gun for radically and taking out the champs. Now into mods, starting with the class item. Run any of the mods will help reduce your ability cooldowns when using different abilities or powerful attraction to help collect nearby orbs. You could also run the mods proximity ward and healthy finisher to get your health back along with an overshield when performing a finisher. For leg armor, you can run mods for help with your ability regen when picking up orbs of power. You could also run scavenger mods to pick up additional ammunition when picking up ammo bricks. On your chest armor, run a concussive dampener to help reduce incoming damage from the barrier champs. Also run a solo resist mod because incoming solo damage is increased by 25%. For gauntlets, run any mods that boost your ability regen or create orbs of power. Finally, for the helmet, I suggest you have a heavy ammo finder mod on along with some ashes to assets to get your super back on grenade kills or hands on for melee kills. This is what I used, so either copy it or use it as a template to make your own. You do not need the same weapons, armor, subclasses or even mods as me to complete this lost sector. With that out of the way, let's get straight into it. Once you spawn in, there will already be ads in front of you. Just stay on the high ground above them and shoot down at them. Any survivors will rotate to the door on your right which will lead you into the next room. In front of you will be several waves of acolytes, a barrier on the left side and a witch on the right. Just use the doorway for cover to thin out the acolytes of a witch and a barrier on their own. At any point, if a solo grenade is thrown at you, walk back through the hallway. Kill the witch first, followed by the barrier. You can either use these pillars in the middle or the hallway. Once the barrier dies, a light barrel wizard will spawn in. Try to kill it before it uses its super, however, if you aren't quick enough, just go back through the hallway and wait it out. Once done, rotate through the door and down the stairs. In the next hallway will be some adds and the barrier champ. Throw a grenade inside the hallway to kill all the acolytes and damage the barrier enough to keep it in there. Otherwise, it will run away into the next room and if this happens, stay at the back. If you go too far in, additional ads will spawn. Once you are ready, go down the stairs to spawn in the next waves. They will include an ogre, an unstop, plenty of ads along with an acolyte light bearer. The light bearer will stay in the middle of the room along the acolytes. The ogres will rush you, so you want to take them out first. Put some shots into them to get them mad and use the doorway for cover to pixel peek them. Every so often, some thrall will rush your position, but one grenade or weapons with firefly make short work of them. Once both the Ogre and the Unstop are gone, focus on any nearby Acolytes and the Light Bearer. If the Light Bearer uses its super, step through the doorway and wait for the rounds to hit the wall. Then step out and damage it in between its super attacks. Rinse and repeat. After clearing them, there should be some Revenant Acolyte left over on the sides of a room among the pillars. Clear them all out to proceed to a boss room. The boss room can be tricky, but just follow these steps. Start off by clearing out the thrall in the middle of a room worshipping the boss. There's going to be plenty of acolytes and knights around, so fall back to the door that you entered through and the ads will rotate to you one by one. Simply use the stairs for cover to safely take them out. Among them will be a barrier champ and he likes to sit in the top corner opposite the door. The issue is that the acolytes tend to get in the way, so make sure they are all cleared out before wasting any time trying to take down the barrier's health. Once done, you can focus on the boss. Every so often, when he loses some health, additional ads will spawn in, so when that happens, just fall back to the doorway and take your time. And there you have it, that's how you complete a sepulchre solo and flawless on legendary difficulty. If you have found the guide to be helpful, then please like, share and post a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more Destiny 2 guides. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.